play a very significant role in the aspect of hot culture because most of the crops and the other vegetables that are grown in Nigeria have also be equally grown in Kano State. And when we look at the value chain of the uh, hot culture, comprises a lot of activities that can generate what will benefit the Nigeria and also at the same time drive the social economic growth of the nation. And the, some of those uh, uh, vegetables and other uh, uh, crops that are being derived from the that are derived from the hot culture, they have a very medicinal value and they provide income to the farmers as well as those that export those products to even from Kano and other state and sometimes even to other counties. So this training has really impacted us personally in our lives, you know, it, uh, and also the farmers we, we have reached. So I think uh, it's very important that we continue, in, even in our own small ways. There are a lot of women that want to, you know, embark in agriculture, especially in the vegetable sector. They want to start growing their vegetables at home. But this training has made me, you know, to even encourage them more because without this knowledge, you can't even tell people how to do it. So having this knowledge and this training going out in the field has really, you know, changed the whole perspective uh, of vegetable farming uh, in small villages and uh, beyond. And I think we have to thank uh, everyone, the, the SOC, the team at SOC and the Garden University and Research. We thank you very much and we hope to continue this fruitful relationship with you uh, in the future. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is um, Salu Hamisu. And today we are witnessing a very important event. We started this journey uh, approximately a year ago. We've been through several trainings in person and then um, online trainings. Um, the trainees from Netherlands and those that are helping them here in Nigeria have been very useful to us. They've been very patient with us. They've given us enough time to learn all that there is that we can learn. Today, I feel like a completely new person. All the knowledge that we've gathered on vegetable production and most importantly to me, how we can pass this knowledge to farmers. Uh, vegetable farmers are facing several challenges. Uh, challenges relating to climate change, to productivity issues, uh, challenges relating to market and so many issues. And the only way that these farmers can get out of this is when there is sufficient evidence-based knowledge that has been shared with them. So I believe it's an honor that today we can call ourselves trainers of farmers who trainers of trainees that can train farmers at the end of the day. This K2K training gave me a lot of insight. Being I'm a lecturer, but I have the, now the skills of extension agent to go to the field, to go to the real farmers, to tell them how to correct and how to crop protection, irrigation, even how to apply drip irrigation, how to utilize small amount of water to, to raise vegetables. So this training gave me a lot of insight of how to do this. Normally in the class I teach students, but this training gave me a lot of knowledge how to do the real work. So I have to thank the Netherlands government and Bergen University and research and uh, safe for change. Uh, the Honorable Minister has instructed me to extend his humble gratitude to the Netherlands government for initiating this trainers training uh, program and at the same time appealing to the authority in the Netherlands embassy to continue training the trainees 
in the future so that we can have a lot of them that will train our essential workers in the field. Finally, uh, on behalf of the, of the Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, I will extend my appreciation to the organizers of this program and also advise the graduates to please endeavor to use what they learn here on the field and while training the essential workers. Thank you very much and God bless all of us. Thank you.